Hi everybody, it's Carol. Welcome back to my channel. And what I have here today, I'm going to do another project. And they are going to be a postcard envelope. And I've seen this on the internet by Roxy Creations. And this is what she created, is making an envelope from postcards. Now these are printed postcards that I have and okay let's get started so I'm going to start with this larger one and then what we're going to do is she has it backed on floral pages so I am going to measure this and and then she has a, this is a challenge that she has created. And then she brings this over and I wonder if I bring it this way, if I would have more of the floral, more of the floral pieces. Okay, so this is going to be a, this is not hard. And what I'm going to do is... Well, first I'm going to make the little thumb hole on the top because it will be, this is going to be an envelope tuck so that you can use this in your journal and then use this for a tuck in there and then this will be a fold over just to give, just to give it some interest. So I do have this postcard because it was a digital I have it backed on cardstock just to give it a little to make it a little sturdy so whatever I put in there or whatever it's used for it'll be stronger so I'm just going to glue this on there let me get my little white before the excess glue that always seeps out. Okay. Let's see if I could move that. Nope. See, I have a little bit, um, it's a little bit of the paper showing, but that's okay. Let's see if I can... I don't want to bring it all the way down to the postcard. I want to give it a little bit of room so that I can get whatever I put in there. I'll have room to put in there. So, let's see if I bring it down. Now that, that gives me plenty of room and this is it. So then basically all all that's left is the decorating part. So I'm going to round the corner. And that didn't come out too good. Okay, that's better. Okay, so the only thing left here is I'm gonna I brought out some floral pieces here smaller ones just to give it some a little something something on there that looks pretty and I love my little floral pieces okay we're gonna stick that there And I think what how I'll attach this in my journal is I think I'll just clip it in, clip it onto a page. So if this is a page, I'll just clip it on here with a uh, some kind of uh, some kind of a clip I'll have. Oh, I want this one. Okay, so we have this decorated, and let's do something back here. I brought some labels. Brought some labels. Let's see. Oh, here's a nice one. 
Oh, looks like there's a couple stuck there. I'm just going to trim off these little edges so it'll... Now that looks good, so I'll put this here. Or you can even, I don't even know why I decorate that. Well, it depends on how you use it. I can keep it in the keep it in the journal like this and just glue it on two sides and use this as a tuck. I could do that. And then there's no need to decorate the back. But I will decorate the back because I could. What I could also do is um, attach this to some muslin and just use it as a flip so that you can get to the uh, the journaling card that's in there and still have access to this here. Okay, so let's put this one aside and I brought along four. I have four of these envelopes. Just deciding what side to use here. Oh, it just, this is such a, a fun project. Let me put my little thumb hole in here so that it looks like a tuck spot. And I think I like, I think I'm going to use this. And I hold this side in my hand that I'm not gluing because many a times I have glued the side that I didn't want to. So this way I know not to glue that one. Oh, that looks so pretty. I love these postcards. Very vintage looking. Let's get this. And I may have to trim this a little bit. So that's going to be really big. So let me trim this. And I hope I trim it straight. That looks good. Well, I'm going to trim it a little bit more because I don't want that much of paper coming out. But I don't want to go all the way down. And I don't want that thumb hole to show. Oh, that looks pretty. I think it's a little crooked though, so let me just see how well I could fix it. Sometimes I keep trying to fix it and then by, by the time I'm finished I don't have any more paper left. Okay, let me just bring that down a little bit more. Okay, so much better. Alrighty, let me get my wipey out of there, and I will bring in oh, that looks pretty. What a nice idea this project is. Okay, and I like I like these uh, cards that I have. These dictionary words.
And like I said, I don't want to put too much decorating on the back because I don't know how I'm going to use it. So if I use it as a flip, I can always put a little bit more decoration on there. Okay, let me get this corner rounded. Oh, that looks so pretty. I really like this project. Okay, let's see. Can even go this way. I'm not gonna go all the way down. Okay, let me do my thumb hole. And I hate to say this, but again today we have a very cloudy day. It's muggy and cloudy, but you know what else? I film ahead, so even though when I say it's cloudy today and somebody who lives in my area would be saying, no, today's not cloudy, you know, but it's because I film ahead. So at this time of filming, it is very cloudy. We were at the cemetery already, taking our Stella for her morning walk. As I had mentioned before, that's we have a five-year-old Shih Tzu, and that's the only place that she will walk at the cemetery. She doesn't walk in front of our house. I wonder if that's too long. I'm just going to chop a little bit of this off. Yeah, so Stella does not walk in our neighborhood. We have to go up to the cemetery in town. And that's where she goes for her daily walk. I don't understand why, but that's what she does. Sometimes I can get this real good. Boy, this is turning out so fast. Okay, so what kind of flowers do I have here? I'm going to do my rose. I love my roses. I actually started um, drying some roses yesterday, some rosebuds. I did that from last year, and I used, uh, I laminated the roses after they were dried, and I used them in journals a few journals ago. They turned out so beautiful, so I want to get another batch of them made. Nice. Okay, let's see, I have one more. So let's see how well I'll use this. I 
That'll be purpley. Okay, so I think I'll just go this far down. Oh, let's get this thumb hole. This is a little postcard. I could have printed off all, <clears throat> excuse me, all of the large ones, but I wanted to make a variety of of the uh, postcards for the envelope tucks. I'm probably still going to have to uh, trim off part of the top. Yeah, so Roxy Creations, she does, I believe she does daily challenges, and um, they're a lot of fun, and anybody can join in. If it looks, if she's doing a project that looks like fun to you, try it, do it, especially if you have nothing going on. It'll just give you tons of ideas. Okay, I think I have a little rose. A little rose for a little postcard. I really like this challenge. I think it's fun. The only sad thing is I'm just about finished because I only brought along four, four postcards. Yes, four postcards. Look at this little rose. Pretty. And... Oh, here's a nice one. A nice light color. Chop these ends off. Okay. Wow, that went so fast, and I'm all finished now. I'll have to come back on with another video later if I have time. <laughs> okay, these, these look really great. I love these. I think this was a very fun project and they look great. And let me make sure I have all my corners and my flowers on here. And look at how nice this would be to put a, a journaling card inside here. And then close it off with a nice, pretty paper clip. So there you have it. I have my four postcard envelopes. And I'm really pleased with the way they turned out. It just said that it went so fast. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you have a great day. And we'll talk soon. Bye.